All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you, I'm bending up the last of the edging here for the metal siding. I gotta do the other door, but see how I left that? You see how dimpled it is? That's because I didn't go through and get this foam out of here, because I don't give a damn. And that way when the tax man comes, I can say, what are you doing charging me? five thousand eight hundred million dollars more for this shithole so right here we're making a band to go across both sides just a little z channel to stop the water and this stuff is pretty thick but this is what we're doing we're just making a z just enough to tuck that on and then run our lap siding up so the first thing i do here Let's try to get this thing from falling off. All right, so I already cut our metal here. It's a 20 inch roll, so we get four or five inches per however long the break is. One thing that I suggest though, is don't bend this thick of metal On a new brake because this this brake cost me three hundred dollars a long, long time ago so i'm not really worried about it but go take your boss's brand new you know two three thousand dollars brake and start bending thick metal on it. I need to make a foot right here so I can stand on this and really crank. I worked with a guy one time and he was the master of everything, you know. Turns out he didn't really know much at all except for how to caress his own ego. Which we can all be guilty of that at one point or another. So this is how thick this stuff is. <laughs> Now that this metal's so thick that if it gets too close to this front edge of this brake, it will bind and then you'll have not such a good time. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And this brake's so old that it kind of does a little belly right here in the middle, but I could adjust these and get that out, but I want it to be kind of loose because I'm doing this gauge steel here. It's like a 16 gauge or something, or 18 gauge maybe. This I'm doing 7 eighths because it's a 3 quarter. The siding is 3 quarter. That rib on the, that rib over here that sticks out three quarters of an inch. So I'm doing seven eighths because this is roughly, I don't know if you can see that, my phone's blocked, but this is roughly an eighth inch right here. So that way, and you can see how it's not all 45 really, it's a little more. That way when I press it up, it's gonna hold tight. So, Anybody that does brake work, they know exactly what they want, you know. So, double check, 7-8s. Yep, good enough for the human I'm going up. Oh, look at that. So, 7-8s.
Tighten it on first. if you need to. There you go. Nice Z channel. Just flop this right down on the pile. They all look the same. That's where to be. Thanks for watching.